Bonjour à tous, c'est Minotaurus, j'espère que tout va bien chez vous. On est dans Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes, sur, le gem, sur la gem cube, eh oui. Et euh, on va prendre cet ascenseur, mais d'abord on va... Eh oui, évidemment, <rire> La baise, la baise des munitions sur le bord. Voilà, il n'y en avait pas, ok, enfin, c'est double la baise. Voilà, on va prendre cet ascenseur qui m'a l'air, ma foi, euh, parfaitement euh, sûr, hein. D'ailleurs, j'avais pas la body... Ah bah non, j'avais pas la body armor parce que j'avais le carton dans la cinématique avec Wolf. Oh non Oh, faites pas chier Ah oui, quand même. Donc quand, les balles, quand des balles de FAMAS se touchent, elles explosent. Ah ça, c'est stylé les douilles qui redescendent. C'est à ce moment-là que j'aimerais bien un fusil à pompe. Ils sont pas censés... Être... Ils étaient pas censés être 4. Ah yeah. Bon. C'était rapide. Et du coup le... La body armor c'est quand même hyper, hyper utile. C'est là, hein Ah mais il y en a plusieurs en fait Ah d'accord Oh je suis full famas hein. On va juste remettre la body armor Des corbeaux. Ok. Il m'attaque les bâtards. Snake. Oui. I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. Oui. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Bah c'est dans ma tête quoi. The monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in mm -hmm. the FBI. Yeah. Hey. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. Que? What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on. Even a high school student could see past it. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. At the time when Edgar Hoover was head of the FBI, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 50s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But you better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying. That ninja. Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, 
Ok. Bon, moi je m'arrave des corbeaux, écoute. Du coup, ils m'en veulent toujours ou. Ça a l'air d'aller là. Du si fort. Ah par contre j'ai peut-être prendre une ration parce qu'ils m'ont défon... ils m'ont picoré le fion quoi. Et j'ai bien fait. Ah merde. Ah merde This is the end of the road for you, right my friends. They're becoming excited. How dare you kill my friends? Ah désolé. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes, they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. Ah, j'avoue. <laughs> But that was no true battle. <laughs> C'est vrai qu'à trois dans un char contre un mec tout seul, sans, sans armes, c'est vraiment une bataille. Ah kind of oh oui, quand même. The raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. There's no crows in my family tree. You ready? I am not fond of snakes, but you are family, so I cannot complain. But there will be no holding back. in Alaska too. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics. With that strength, you must have been training in the stick pull and four-man carry. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the ear pull. It's an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? Tu veux construire l'oreille? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well... We will see if there is iron in your words.
Tu vas surtout manger mes plombs Ah ouais Ah ouais C'est un conteneur explosif Ah non Oh putain Ah oui Tu la sens ma grosse subtilité Ok On peut genre euh... c'est pas moi allez viens tu viens Merde, il est pas passé. C'est pas grave. Dommage. Ah, ça t'a pas plu, ça. Merde Ah le con J'ai pris ma propre mine
Ah, il a décidé que non. Très bien. Je ne vois pas, hein. Il va venir me chercher. Pas sûr. Une, euh, une ration. Yes. Il a marché dedans. which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you. Understand? Okay. Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Ah, ça c'est vachement gentil. Et du coup, on serre l'oreille ou pas? You are a snake, which was not created by nature. You and the boss, you are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man you saw die before your eyes... That was not the DARPA chief. Quoi? It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. Hmm. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? C'est pour ça que dans notre cellule on avait un cadavre euh, vidé de sang, vidé de son sang. But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Oh, génial. Oh. 
Bah oui, ça fait beaucoup de clés morts, hein, normalement. Hein. Ça pique. corpses you crawl over the killing will never end it's a future without hope hear me snake my spirit will be watching you ah bah ils ont bien mangé Otakon. Snake, it's me, Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Encore? Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Mm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah. Go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? She must be some kind of spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So, you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. A different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest, Colonel. What? She's betrayed us, Colonel. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Colonel, have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? <sighs> Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait. Wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. C'est vrai qu'on n'a pas trop le temps là. C'est bien mignon mais... C'est quoi qui est tombé J'ai eu quoi son dog tag Ah cool ouais, J'imagine que c'est ça hein. Ouais c'est ça. Ah ouais c'est comme dans MGS2. Ah sympa. Warehouse North. 
Ah, ça c'est les embrouilles ici. Je m'en rappelle. Enfin, disons que je m'en rappelle. Disons que je sais qu'il y a des coups de pute. Voilà. <rire> Et moi, les coups de pute, j'aime pas trop ça. Donc, toi, tu fais dodo. J'ai dit, toi, tu fais dodo. Voilà. Il y a des caméras. Vous voyez comme le jeu il est, il est vachement plus dur en... Il est vachement plus dur en... sur... sur PlayStation du coup. Vu qu'on peut pas viser. Allez, cassez-vous, s'il vous plaît. Après, je peux ramper. Hein. Donc là, il y a deux petits trous euh, habilement placés. Hein. Bon, ils sont, ils sont venus de l'autre côté. Eh oui, cassez où Eh oui, j'ai tiré dans ta radio. Merde. Normalement, là, c'est bon. Ok, bon. J'ai fait de la merde. J'ai fait de la merde. Ah 
J'espère qu'ils me suivront pas. J'espère qu'ils ont pas la clé pour passer. Ça va, easy. Easy. Eh ben on va se quitter là <rire> Eh ouais Parce que... Bah parce que, déjà... Ça fait déjà une demi-heure... Devant ce Rex... Eh bien... Euh, plutôt... Euh, plutôt... Plutôt plutôt stylé, hein, parce que c'est Rex... Voilà, avec le Raigun ici, hein, qu'on voit là, là... Le cockpit ici, le radar là, tout ça... Des trucs cool... Des trucs cool... Donc voilà, on va se euh, dire au revoir, on se retrouve la prochaine fois, et eh bien pour euh, explorer un peu cet endroit, casser la gueule à tous ces petits gardes, et, euh, et continuer l'histoire, voilà. Donc je vous fais des bisous, et à la prochaine, des bisous.